Friday night lights kicking off right now at Wyandotte High School. The kickoff moved up to 5 p.m. after shots were fired last Friday night. There's also going to be more security at that game tonight. Fox 4's Reagan Porter talked with a former student who was there when the shots rang out. She joins us live now outside Wyandotte High School field. Reagan, what's happening right now? Yeah, Kevin, Wyandotte High School and Sumner Academy just kicked off. This is Wyandotte High School's homecoming game. You can see some of the crowd up in the stands over there. Attendance is a lot lower than expected after that shooting that happened here last week. The band coordinators just yelling at the kids to run that way and this way. Daryl Knox says he still has nightmares after hearing gunfire while picking up his brother who's in the band at Wyandotte High School. Kansas City, Kansas police say it happened Friday night at about 930 just as the game was ending. Police say two men started shooting at the school district police officer. The officer returned fire and the suspects ran. They start shooting and without hesitation or looking back, I snatch my one brother and just start running towards my other brother to get him to. The Sumner Academy cheer squad will not be here with pom-poms in hand. The district says more than a handful opted out due to safety concerns. I understand why the cheerleaders don't want to be there. To help ease concerns and provide safety, on Friday, the school district sent out updated security measures for sporting events. They say no bags larger than 12 by 12 by 6 will be allowed inside, and no backpacks can be brought in either. And this goes for all schools across the district through the end of the year. Chevette Dinkins is the president of the Wyandotte PTSA. She understands safety, but says students were upset this week that the parade, pep rally, and tailgate for homecoming were canceled. She says it was would have been the first one in at least six years. I think the majority of our students and staff um, wanted things to be normal, you know, and make people to make their own choices of whether or not they wanted to show up or participate. Um, so the, the students aren't very happy right now. Um, they feel like a lot of things are being taken away from them and things are not, there's nothing to replace it. Now, the district says Kansas City, Kansas Police and the Wyandotte County Sheriff's Office will provide additional support during games going forward. Also, some games could be moved up to 5 o'clock. Again, this goes for all schools across the district.